Okay, so for eight seasons, Game of Thrones ruled the small screen, and it also gave fans a lot to talk about, and of course snapped up countless awards. And now, this world of kings, queens, and dragons is set to reign again with the prequel, House of the Dragon. And I placed my heir upon the Iron Throne, and all the dragons roared as one. Consider the matter urgent. That of your succession. Well, who else would have a claim? The firstborn child. Rhaenyra, no queen has ever sat the Iron Throne. The king has an heir, Daemon Targaryen. I will not be made to choose between my brother and my daughter. Well, the new series travels hundreds of years back in time to tell the story of the House of Targaryen and leaving the Scottish Highlands for the mythical realm of Westeros in this upcoming drama is a man who knows how to take a road trip. He's an actor, a writer, a producer, and author. Please say hello to Mr. Graham McCavin! Hello! Hello. Hi, sir. Okay, so since you, have you, a, since you have the UK and Scottish connection, which greeting do you prefer? Hello, governor, or Madenva? Oh, ah. Uh. Uh, I think we'll go with hello, Governor. Hello, uh, Governor. Governor. Cause because I'm really uh, good. My British accent's really impressive. It's uh, I would I literally would have thought you were born here. I know. It's 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 amazing. I have to convince people all the time. I am not British people. I just want a cup of water. No. Water. No, I know. I understand. Say. I understand. But but listen, <laughs> I'm sure you can sense the excitement because Game of Thrones fans are no joke, right? They, yes. We, we have, no. come, we have yeah. come to know those players from the Starks to the Lannisters to the Baratheons, but the prequel focuses on the Targaryens. And we know there's yes. going to be dragons, because it's called House of oh, the, yes, Dragon, the Dragons. And we know there's going to be yeah. you in it. So talk to us about what we can expect yes. in this series. Well, this is like, I, the best way I could describe it is it's, it's about a family. Mm -hmm. It's about a family, first and foremost. It, they happen to have dragons in their family. Uh, but any any person can relate to the story that is told here. Maybe not quite the levels of violence that you might see, but we all understand um, sibling rivalry and all that kind of thing. It's a little bit like uh, The Godfather with dragons. Ooh. It's the best way I could describe what? it. What? Okay, so I, I have to tell you, Game of Thrones gave me, like, mini heart attacks. I'm going to be honest right oh, now. Yeah. So I feel like this is going to happen as well. And no one was safe on yes. that show. But your character, Sir Harold no. Westerling, please tell me he's going to be safe because he's a king's guard. So he, he knows his way around the with the this. I mean, obviously, I can't give anything away. You better be okay. But um, what I can tell you mm -hmm. about Harold Westerling is he is a morally upright individual. So he is a kind of moral center, a moral compass. For everyone else, because basically, if you're if you're living in Westeros, it's a it's a nest of vipers. They they really are. Um, they're a difficult group of people to be around. To be fair. Well, there you are. Okay, I feel so safe. Look at you. Yeah, well, you should feel safe. I, I, I mean, was, look at my armor. I, that's what I'm saying. You oh, c come on, yeah. come on. Like yeah, seriously. I, I, Sir, I, thought I have I was... an enormous sword in it as well. I have a very large sword that I that. Uh, so you would be completely safe. I, I feel safe right now. No like problem. I was gonna go as Beyonce for for Halloween. I think I'm gonna go as you, as your character on the show. Do it, do it. Just you know, get the armor, get the sword, maybe the helmet. You don't have to go with the helmet, but you know, it's well, an option. I don't know why you're saying get it because I was gonna ask you for the one you used on set, but that's for another set. That's for another another time. I'll ask you later. I'll ask you later. But your fans know you from uh, work from your projects like the Hobbit films, Outlander, The Witcher, yeah. Preacher, Lucifer, all of those movies and TV shows. Mm -hmm. Hardcore fans, just like Game of Thrones. So I want to ask, since you're in the UK right mm -hmm. now. Which project yeah. do you get recognized the most for when you're home? And which one do you get recognized most for when you're in the US? Wow, that's a good question. I would say um, in the UK, Outlander, probably. Mm. Probably Outlander. Although to be fair, I mean, but Outlander and The Hobbit. Mm. Um, but in the US, yeah, it's pretty much, it's got to be Outlander, I've got to oh. be honest. Right. And more, more The Witcher as well. The Witcher's starting to get people, yeah. See, so. okay, so I, as you already know, sir, I'm really bad at accents, but as you, I, I'm just going to let you know what I'm great at, so you don't think, oh, this girl's just, like, the worst ever. I'm really great at stalking no. people, so I know that you're a big fan of oh, comics. God. 
I know you're a big fan yes. of comics. So the thing is, I know I'm hoping that one day we do see we do see you wearing a cape of some sort. But for now, we're we're going with you wearing kilts. We love seeing you wearing kilts, which you do I, with your listen, outline. Listen, I wear co kilts. I, I I I wear kilts. Yes, I did indeed wear kilts with um, with with Mr. Hewan. Um, and we've done a second season of it, actually, which will be coming to your screens soon uh, in New Zealand. Uh, it's, yes, uh, a, a road trip with Sam is not for the faint-hearted. No. no you, need, you need to invest in a lot of insurance, um, a lot of therapy. So uh, just, just to be warned if you're considering it. But you two are the real-life superhero team we did not know we needed because you've had, you don't just have the show. You have two books together as well. Correct. We do, we do, we do indeed. Yes, and I loved writing those books. Loved it. Of course. Because I, I wanted to be a writer, so yeah, yeah. Just living out your dreams. You're living out my dreams because I love to travel and I, I like to go places. So, in case you guys need a, a baggage a baggage carrier, like my arms are pretty strong, yeah. I can carry your bags for you or be your bodyguard, be your king's guard. Would, yeah. Because as well, it's good for you to maybe go down the bodyguard route because they wouldn't expect it. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. You'd be like that sort of silent but deadly. Oh, well. You know, just there. Uh, well, technically, no, oh, one, no one's described me as silent ever. That's the only thing. <laughs> okay, maybe not silent. No, you know, yeah. the occasional remark. Occasional yeah. remark, sorry. That, that, that is correct. So how do, you, how do I say, how do, how do you want me to say goodbye? Because I know some of your family members say cheerio. Some say toodaloo. Some say they, goodbye. They say cheerio. Um, they say cheerio, goodbye. Uh, if you really want to go very posh, toodle pit. Um, or just, um, you know, we say see you later, you know, the ordinary stuff. But cheerio was what my mother used to say. Okay, so since I'm now your family member slash your bodyguard, I'm going to say cheerio okay. and see you later. Is that good? Thank you. All right. Cheerio. All right, such a pleasure <laughs> meeting you, uh, family member slash my new client, bodyguard client. We're looking forward to seeing you guard the realm. The HBO original drama House of the Dragon debuts this Sunday, August 21st on yes. HBO and will be available to stream on HBO Max. Did I get that right? Max, Max. HBO yes, Max? You did. Was that good? Max. Max. Yes, very good. Perfect. Toodaloo. Cheerio, sir. Thank you so much.